Hey there, it's Dr. Tyler Williams at Pinecrest Dental, and we are back here today to share with you some relevant information regarding uh, questions and answers that you may be looking for. And one of the common questions people ask when they are looking for a dentist or looking to have a specific service or procedure done is how much will this cost? And uh, you know, what's a consultation gonna cost? Is it free? Uh, will it cost some money? And, and those kind of questions. And you know, those are very important questions, very valid questions, because when you're having your smile renewed or made over, it can cost quite a bit of money and there can be some investment involved. And you're uh, looking for those questions because you kind of want to prepare ahead of time and know what to expect and, and know what your options are. And what I encourage you to look for when you're looking for a consultation is rather than just focusing on the price, uh, look at some of the other important things. For example, does the office offer payment options? Do they offer multiple payment options? Uh, do they just offer one kind of procedure or do they offer multiple procedures? Where a lot of people get stuck or in trouble with free is that free comes with a price. Um, you know, you probably have searched online before for something. Uh, there's a lot of browsers where you can search free information or free as they say. And when you're looking for free, what you want to be mindful of is that free things um, do you have a price tag attached to them because if there's no cost that means you are the product or you are the service and what I mean is whatever search engine you use um, you know there's a few different ones some of the main ones are, are more commonly used than others but when you are uh, having your information searched that means that you are actually the product or the service because those search engines are looking for your data, your information, your location, where you're at, your age, your household income, those kind of things. And that's the exchange that they ask for and in return they give you free information. So when you go to a consultation, um, if everything's free, then you just need to be careful that what options you're given are the right fit for you. Sometimes, uh, you know, we get a lot of people who come and see us because they had a consultation somewhere, but they only got one option. Um, and that option was either out of their price range or more than they wanted, or sometimes less than they wanted. And so sometimes it's worth it to pay for information or a consultation or worth it to pay for an x-ray because then often the options you get will not be biased. So we've really designed an experience for our patients and for people who are looking for answers to their questions uh, with you in mind and your needs and there is no one size fits all. So the main takeaways from this are if something is free, you know that the options are gonna be very biased. You know, if you're looking for a free consultation for implants, then most places you go to, unfortunately, are only gonna offer you implants as the option. When we know from doing this for almost 13 years that for many people, saving your teeth, or at least some of your teeth, is a better option than just having them removed and implants put in. But you won't be told that when you're given a free consultation that includes a very biased or limited option opinion on what your options are. So. Not saying free is never okay. You know, at Pinecrest Dental, there are certain things we offer free. Um, you know, when someone's coming in, having a major procedure done, we include the sedation for free as part of the bonus for uh, getting that work done because it makes your visits more comfortable and makes things go smoother from us when we're planning and doing the procedure. But sedation isn't for everybody. Um, and that's, you know, given free because it's included in something that you've already decided to do. But when you're going to get an unbiased opinion on, 
hey, what are my options? Should I do veneers? Should I straighten my teeth? Should I remove them? Should I get gum disease treatment? Should I fix my cracks? Uh, when's a good time to replace all those old silver fillings? Those kind of things. Uh, often it's better to pay for some portion of your visit, whether that's x-rays or the consultation or something, because then you're gonna get information and options that will be customized and catered to you. Now, if you still have more questions and you'd like to know what to look for uh, in a dentist, you can give our office a call and just mention this video and we have a seven step consumer guide. It's a short um, guide that we can send to you and it tells you the things you should look for when you're looking for a dentist uh, who's gonna give you a smile makeover. So wherever you live, if you'd like a copy of that, please reach out to the office or you can leave a message or comment below and we will get back to you. So thanks for watching the video and we look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Thank you.